Mounts, BBG, chapter 19, sentence 8. Uh, easy enough in the beginning. Let's uh, take the first sentence and go forward from that. Uh, a couple of things to notice. You got that second person uh, personal pronoun, uh, nominative, um, and, you know, plural, of course, but it's y'all, right? Or you all. Uh, and then you have the verb, which lines up because as soon as you see that tau epsilon, you ought to know that that is a second plural. That's going to line up with that second plural subject. So also you should know that it's proskuneo, which is um, I worship. So in this case, you've got um, y'all worship, and then you have its relative pronoun, uh, what or which or that which, you know, however you want to do that just to make it all line up uh, with the sentence. And then um, negation, so not, and then y'all know if you just did it word by word. So again, treat, take that first sentence as a whole. Y'all worship what y'all don't know. Okay, so y'all worship what y'all don't know. Then you move on to the second sentence, and of course he switches from y'all to we, um, you know, first person personal pronoun, uh, plural. Uh, and then, of course, that that uh, verb lines up with that as well because you have the first plural ending here, um, and that should be obvious enough. So it's we worship, and then same thing he's going to do here, what we know. So uh, again, you've got that contrast going on between the first the first um, section, and second section, first clause, second clause. Uh, y'all worship what you don't know, what y'all don't know. We worship what we do know. You, and you could be perfectly legitimate to translate it that way because um, you're trying to draw out that contrast. But uh, even if you just said what we know, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> then you run into hot tea. Um, and, of course, a lot of manuscripts, it's, it's we know what we worship. They actually switch these two verbs. So uh, very interesting there. You, you can play with that, um, but uh, the hati here, you know, is it because or that? Well, it does follow oidemen, you know, which is a verb of cognition, right? It's something that they know. Uh, we worship what we know, that, but is it is it the content of what they know? Well, yeah, it is, uh, but is the focus on knowing or is the focus on worshiping? Um, you know, so th this is a case where, you know, you probably in your head might bounce back and forth between that and because, uh, I probably in this particular instance would roll toward because, uh, simply because he's, he's trying to create an argument and a contrast between, uh, the person he's talking to and, uh, himself, you know, and he's saying, we worship you know, we worship what we know, and the reason we worship what we know is because uh, salvation, blah, 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 okay? So, I'm, I'm in this particular instance, you know, if you're trying to make a choice, um, you know, this is a, a, a place where it could certainly roll both ways, but uh, I'd, I'd probably lean toward because, um, just because he's, you know, like I said, creating contrast and an argument, so to speak. All right, uh, salvation, he gave you soteria is salvation, of course. And then ekton, uh, eudion estin, uh, of the Jews is. So salvation is from the Jews. All right, or of the Jews or from the Jews. I don't really care which one you go with there. So uh, let's do the whole sentence again very quickly. Y'all worship what y'all don't know. We worship what we know because salvation is from the Jews. Then you go to the second sentence. I'll go ahead and move this up some. But and this clause you've seen because you had it in an earlier sentence, so it should be very familiar. Uh, but comes an hour and now is. So, but an hour comes and now is would be your better translation. Uh, hate when, of course. And then he's going to give you this. Uh, this clause, really, he gives you the whole thing, the true worshipers, okay? 
So I'll, I'll leave that. But again, see your, your uh, definite article here to know that you're dealing with the, uh, the subject of this particular clause. Um, and then you move to the verb. So the true worshipers. And then you have from proskuneo again, I worship. But then you have this third plural ending, which will line up with the true worshipers. And you have the sigma, which tells you that it's future. So it's when the true worshipers will worship. And what will they worship? They will worship the Father, right? So this is one of those odd cases where this particular verb is going to take that direct object in the dative. And I guess verb of communication, because you're worshiping and worship is supposed to be a form of communication, that would be probably the way I would roll with it. But uh, uh, bottom line is it's, it's the direct object here. And it is in the dative. Uh, so, you, again, um, you know, when the true worshipers will worship the Father. And then you have, um, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, then you have the prepositional phrase uh, in spirit and truth. And that's obviously very easy. Uh, of course, question I would ask is, for instance, uh, why is aletheia in the dative? Uh, slash locative for those of you who know more grammar there. Um, why is it in that case? Uh, you would tell me not that it's the, the indirect object. You would tell me that it's the object of the preposition N, which typically takes the uh, dative or locative, depending on how you want to play with it. All right. So uh, y'all worship what you all don't know. Uh, we worship what we know because salvation is from the Jews. But an hour comes and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth.